Also in the U.S., the outgoing Biden administration has bolstered export barriers designed to limit China's access to technologies needed to advance its AI and military ambitions. Our EUNI covers the latest regulation and its broader implications. The U.S. government announced Monday the introduction of new export controls to limit China's ability to build advanced semiconductors and develop AI for military use. The restrictions affect both U.S. companies and foreign companies that use American technology in their chip-making equipment. As part of the controls, the U.S. will also stop exporting HBM, or high-bandwidth memory, which is vital for AI chips, to China. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, the new measures, which follow two similar packages over the past two years, are aimed at limiting China's ability to produce advanced chips for its military modernization. 140 Chinese companies were added to the Commerce Department's export curb list, which means U.S. and foreign companies, including chip manufacturers like Huawei in companies that make the equipment to produce chips, require a license to export to them. The new rules cover 24 types of chip-making tools not previously restricted. The U.S. will also apply a rule called the Foreign Direct Product Rule, which will impact non-U.S. companies using U.S. technology in their tools. Most chip-making tools are in this category. Washington has reportedly exempted Japan and some European allies, including the Netherlands, after they agreed to set their own export restrictions. The move could negatively affect South Korean companies like SK Hynix and Samsung Electronics, which control over 90% of the global HBM market. Samsung, in particular, may be impacted as a large portion of its HBM sales, around 30%, go to China, including through Hong Kong. According to South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy on Tuesday, the impact is expected to be minimal as export methods will be adjusted to comply with the new regulations, while only a few domestic semiconductor equipment companies are affected by the new controls. On the same day, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Lin Jian criticized the U.S. restrictions, saying they are disruptive to international trade and supply chains. He said that China would take action to protect its companies' rights. China's Commerce Ministry also condemned the U.S. curbs, calling them a form of economic coercion and unfair practices. This comes shortly before Republican President-elect Donald Trump takes office, and he is expected to continue many of Biden's tough measures against China. Yun Hee, Arirang News.